Shut up. Shut up. Seven. What's on today, Sean Clark? And your business. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Now uh, there's a nail in the wall, so I'm just trying to hammer it. Contract inquiries, please visit Tom Stockman Joinery. Not only do I do hammering, but I also do painting. Uh, look at the nice coat. You missed it. Oh, it's all about the wax on. Yeah. And wax off. Always keep that hand straight when you paint all on the wrist. All in a wrist. All in a wrist. You don't have to do the kick from that movie. I'm a painter and not a kicker, eh? All about wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Right guys, we're gonna train on warmed up. What are we doing today, Tom? I don't have a f***ing clue, mate. One, two, three, and back up. And again. One, two, three. Oh, hey guys, we just didn't notice you there. We were just in the gym having a wee sleep. What was that accent? <laughs> we're going to Australia, uh, America. Oh, so we're going to Australia, I mean America. I thought, may as well try and get in with the locals, you know? Oh, good day, gazingas. <laughs> I don't know why we're lying on the floor. But today is the last event session before the Shaw Classic. Are you pumped up, Tom? I don't even think there's been one event session, but... <laughs> yeah! We've been training super hard. Look at our biceps. They're massive. Why are we? I can admit that. <laughs> what are we doing today? I forget. I forgot to. We'll maybe do some dumbbell. Dumbbell and then see what happens. <laughs> see what happens. So it might just be dumbbell, but if it isn't, then you're in luck because it's going to be an awesome session. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, the <laughs> Get out of the hook, use your arms. Wow. I do some band work for my triceps to get them a little bit warm. And then I'll do some shoulders as well, just to loosen them up. I have a, a bit of a sticky right shoulder. Um, it's been with me for the last year or so, but it gets a little bit better. So it's me just trying to warm up my triceps. Obviously we're doing one arm dumbbell. I always use my right arm to press, so I make sure my right arm is nice and warmed up. And then do some, from up the squat, Mr. Squat University. It's just trying to wake up everything. Basically, that's all this is doing, I think. Just waking things up. What's the story, mate? That uh, is 35 kilos, I think, empty. So us pressing 35 kilos is probably the equivalent to what Alexi feels like when he presses 100 kilos. Feels like absolutely nothing, so. How does that work? Because he's dead strong. Tom, <laughs> <laughs> oh 
talking about Valencia, what did you think of the Giants Live show? I thought, it was, I thought it was really good, but we're going to actually do a full breakdown of our thoughts on the world record deadlift attempts past the actual show. So stay tuned for the next video for that. Yeah, so the next weight is 65 kg. Will we do it? We'll soon find out. Down, down, down boy, down. Oh. <laughs> he listens to me. Kilograms, so let's see how this feels. I think we'll just do a few singles again, see how it feels, and hopefully hit the 100k. Big man things. It's ringing in my ears. <laughs> That's not good. Let's see something special. What are you showing me? How to press a dumbbell. Really difficult. That was easy, bro. Did you really think it was going to be difficult? Please. <laughs> so for me, one of the most important moves in the dumbbell is to get it secure in your shoulder. And then when you're pressing, you've got to make sure you're pressing up and over your head. A lot of guys that you see when they fail, is they're pressing the shoulder, the dumbbell's not sitting right in their shoulder. And what actually happens is your hand tilts a little bit, and as you're pressing, it goes out. And as soon as you press away from your body, that's, that weight just throws your stability off. So make sure when you're pressing, a uh, one-arm dumbbell press, secure in your shoulder, big pop of the legs, up and over your head and that will be the most secure place to lock out. If you like that little tip, wait till you see what we've got coming up for you. Something really special, so stay tuned. Oh yeah. Just warm it up, mate. Yeah. So now we're up to 100 kg. Let's see what happens here. Let's go, Luke. Drop the hammer, Luke. Drop the hammer. Drop the hammer. That does not sound healthy. Um, this might be the last video you ever see of me, so. I felt heavier than it should have done. It's okay. It feels like a hundred kilos does above your head when you haven't trained for a while. Tom and I have been on holiday for a week or so, so. But it was okay, it was fine. Let's go, Tommy. Anything. 
Ta. Let's go, Tommy. I'm going to go. Alright, I'm done. Alright. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Woo! It's heavy. It's heavy. It's just heavy. Don't do now. Being back from holiday, how easy is it to get back into training? Out in Tenerife, actually, Tom and I. Um, Tom went to the gym with uh, Sinead, it was a good little bodybuilding gym. Minimal fitness, I think it was called in Tenerife, which was really good. So we trained a few times. It's just getting back into the events. Events are very, I don't know the right words. If you don't keep them up, you know, you notice a big drop very quickly. It's almost like cardio. You know, if you stop doing that cardio, your cardio fitness will go down. So events is very much like that. How does muscle memory affect it? Muscle memory, I think it, it's more relatable to stuff that you do in the gym, so like deadlifting, maybe bench press, shoulder press, uh, events is very specific. I don't think the muscle memory um, has that much of a crossover into events. Events, your body has to be feeling right, you have to be on the, you know, your vitamins and minerals have to be bang on so it protects your joints. Um, your recovery aspect has to be very good, your sleep has to be good. Emotionally, you have to be very good to have a good events day, so everything has to be really in tune, so everything has to be vibrating at the same level for events. Whereas in the gym, if you're just training a bench or a dumbbell press or whatever, you can come in and kind of go through the motions. But when you're lifting a 100 kilo dumbbell, 400 kilo yoke, 200 kilo atlas stones, everything has to be 100%. So that's what, we're not making any excuses, of course not. Um, it's our choice, we're not um, into that full mindset that we have at World's Strongest Man because other, other things are more important to us at the moment. I.e. growing the business, having some relaxed time. Um, and again, when you have to have everything at 100% it's very consuming. So strong man for the last 10 years has consumed our lives. So, and we wouldn't change it for the world, obviously. Tom's two time world's strongest man. Greatest strong man we have in the modern era. Um, but with that being said, we're just trying to enjoy ourselves a little bit more in the gym and not be all consuming. So if we have a bad event session, it's not the end of the day. And you know, we've said that to Brian as well. You know, we're still buzzing. Tom and I are both really excited to go out to compete in the Shaw Classic. I was there at the first one. It was one of the best experiences I've had. So really kind of excited to see the guys, see what Brian's got in store for us and just have some good fun. So this is what we're trying to do the rest of the year is have some fun because we know next year Battling it out for World's Strongest Man. Tom's third title, my first title, hopefully. Um, first time on the podium I'll be battling for. Um, that's not easy to do, so we know come January, February time, everything's going to be super intense. So at the moment, bear with us. We love you all. We're not taking it lighthearted as, as much as it seems. We are still training very hard, but we're trying to give ourselves some, what would you say? allowances over the next kind of few months so hope you still enjoy the videos guys thank you for the love we love you You see what he just did? Did you just see that, guys? Alright guys, that is our dumbbell pressing done. It went okay, nothing special. We are now going to go up and finish our event session up in the warehouse. Get that done, so we'll probably do some uh, frame, yoke and stones, finish off. Um, so see how that goes, and then that'll be it. Off to Shaw's. So we'll see you up in the warehouse. Hey right, guys, so that's us heading up to the warehouse. Uh, haven't been up for a little while. Um, oh my god, my body is killing me. Recovery will be good tonight. I'm sorry. I'm in the
unfortunately we've just been up to the warehouse and we met one of the guys there and the company that own it, the Barnabans, they've uh, kicked us out so um, we do not have a place to train events but we need to get back down to the gym and sort a few things so we'll chat to you back down there um, not the best news but we shall survive and push forward See you back then at the gym. Not the best news as you saw on the way up to the warehouse. The warehouse is no more. Unfortunately, there's a company here, uh, the Bannermans, they have rented out the other side of the warehouse, so they've kicked us out. So we are now back to square one for events. So we'll have to make that a priority when we come back from the Shaw Classic to get a place, maybe build a place. I don't know, don't know what we'll do. So we've got all the stuff down here. Just been doing that, so the yoke, stones, all the farmers and stuff there as well. Uh, so yeah, a little bit frustrating. Um, there is a lot of land up there, but we asked, we did ask the guys if they had anything else to, to rent, but they said no, so never mind. Uh, maybe we'll have a chat with the Bannermans. Just don't like supporting us, bro. <sighs> maybe that's what it is, I don't know. Don't know what it is, but anyway, there's a lot of land here. Hopefully, one of the the people that own the land might want to let it to us, or we can buy it from them. We're not asking any handouts. We will pay away as always, but um, it just seems to be a bit difficult if you're not in the oil and gas industry in Invergordon to kind of get things moving. But anyway, enough of that. Frustrating to say the least. Um, there's not really much we can do here. Uh, unfortunately, the ground is a little bit bumpy and we're pretty knackered from moving it all. So, we'll go out to the Salt Classic after training dumbbell. Buzzing. Hope you're ready. And that's it. Anything else to say? Oh, there's also, I'm going to say about the Mogordon Street Market. We've also got a. You want to see it? Yeah, so on the 27th of August, so say two weeks or whatever time, we have got an open day. To celebrate myself and Luke, so he's painting a mural for us on one of the walls up by the end of a garden somewhere. There's going to be some entertainment, there's going to be some stalls, the street's going to be closed off. So, yeah, it's in a garden. So, if you're on your holidays, come up and see us Saturday, the 27th of August. Get it in your diary and come along and have some fun. Okay, guys, well. Thanks for all the best wishes about the Shaw Classic. Really excited. We're gonna go and have some fun and put on a show. Like we've been saying the whole kind of season since after World Strawers, man, we've got other priorities to focus on. So we're going there, we're gonna have some fun, but we will not be winning the Shaw Classic. But we're super excited to see all the guys yeah, that are there. 100%. Everyone that's bought tickets, you know, we're still gonna give 100%, obviously. Um, we love you guys. Without you guys, obviously, we could not do anything. So thank you for all the support. We will do our utmost. I still hope to press a 200 kilo log. Tom will still smash the stones. We're still the Stolpen Brothers. Next year, we're back bigger, stronger, better than ever before. You think Tom's got three times in him and I can join him on the podium? <laughs> Damn straight, baby! Anyway, boom, boom, boom. What are you saying, Tom? Uh, three times sounds good. <laughs> stay safe, smile and stay spiced. And please don't ever stop ringing that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling.